Welcome back to Ballistic High Speed. You guys requested it and we are delivering rifle calibers into the steel plate. Yep, today we brought just some of the more common used ones. We're gonna have 223, 556, 300 blackout, 762, 308. All the goodies. And then we brought the uh, 50 cal out to probably destroy all of this probably. stuff. We've seen what handgun calibers look like. They don't make any dents. They nope. just fragment, which looks pretty cool. So we're hoping with a lot more speed, a bit more pointiness, a bit more mass, I think we'll get some dents. It's just a matter of how much and which calibers are gonna do it. I think so. Let's get set up. Do Let's it. do it. First up, we're gonna do a 223 out of this 223 Wild AR-15. You're good? Yep. Okay. Hit the little, sticker. A little low right, but we'll see. Clear. Okay, well I immediately already see more than what we did in the handguns. It seems like it has two layers. Yeah. It's already getting down into the gel pretty good. Almost looks like, what do you call those stalactites or whatever in caves? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Fragmentation, definitely way crazier immediately with rifles. Not, not quite a dent. I don't okay. want, let's not call it a dent. It did something though. Well, this is one of the lower end calibers, right? So this should be as, of room. as low as we're gonna go. I'm immediately noticing that faster and kind of skinny rounds like this put out a lot more powder type fragmentation yeah. than big chunks of metal, which makes sense because a lot more energy pulling that round apart. There's that weird little thing that stuck, stuck in there. I mean, this is like when we shot the 22, this is the first Right. In the yep. line. So yeah, from sure. here on out, we are either getting bigger or faster rounds, right? Correct. Okay. Yep. So 5.56 five, next? 5.56 five, five, next. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Up next, we have 5.56 five, five, green tip, and we're going to use that same 223 Wild AR-15. High speed ready. Perfect. Uh, a little higher. I would say that's pretty close to dead center. Weapons clear. I think we got a little dent there. Really? Yeah. So 5.56 five, five, is just a little bit hotter than... Uh, 223, which and you think that's just mostly from increased speed? Yeah, because when it comes be. to kinetic energy, velocity is much more important. I would definitely say oh, got yeah. hit with a lot more. So many streaks in there, but it's actually coming out and stuff. So yeah. it's pretty well just going to be. Yeah, I can see from the top, it comes off at least a couple inches. Yeah, cool. What would you say is the difference for the, the 223? main one is they have a different chamber pressure. This one has a higher one. And this is what NATO uses. So this is like the military okay. um, cartridge. Oh, little flash. We didn't get lots that. of oh. flash. So we get that bright initial flash, which we've seen many times. Yep. The difference is it makes a ring of fire. That's and pretty cool. Look how far that flame carries to the edge of the plate and beyond. Yeah, it's past it there. Wow. Very cool. You can visually tell there's a lot more energy. Way more different than I was expecting. Oh, yeah. I was expecting like, yeah, they're pretty well the same, you know, whatever. Okay. Nope. Cool. It still didn't do like anything more to the no. plate. I mean, you got to get to a certain threshold for it to do anything to the plate. And right. so far we've been hovering right below that line. Right. This is hard, hard metal we're shooting. All right. Up next, we have a 300 blackout out of this 300 blackout. 300 blackout versus steel plate. Weapons hot. I can hear the fragments falling. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bigger impact, but didn't dent as much. Which I guess, yeah, because it was more mass and probably less speed. It was a bigger round, but slower. Yeah, so that 5.56 five, above it, that was faster and that made a little dent. So that shows how much more important speed is than mass when it comes to energy overall. Right. Ooh, there's a big piece of jacket right there on the left. talking about that over yeah. there? Yeah. This next jump we're gonna do, cause next we're getting into 7.62, okay. is a uh, pretty nominal leap.
The bullet is noticeably slower. Yes. Okay. And larger. So no flash on impact. I'm sure that has something to do with just less speed. Yeah. Oh, look at that peel apart. Ooh, that that's says. a good one. That looks more like the pistol round, so that's probably an indicator that it was going yeah. that much slower. It seems to be like it categorizes lower end velocities will peel apart versus higher end that just go boom, basically. Look at that, that one's pretty. Ooh, it maintains that flower shape for- It really does. And it's still got its rotation going. It looks like a wobbly starfish, man. It does. Yeah, well, that go. just goes forever. It wow. stays to get, you might find that someday. Yeah, it's probably in the dirt pile. Okay. All right, up next we have the 762 by 39 out of this 762 by 39 AR platform. On me? Yep. Okay. That was it. Might've been a little left, but I think we're good. Kind of walked it in here. That makes a really unique black disc around the impact. There's a little dent there. Okay. Yeah, so this is that case it where it, it threw out some dark powder again, like it did with some of those handgun rounds. Yeah. A lot of people were saying it's probably just the sticker melting. Ooh, we've got some big chunks oh, in yeah, there. Big ones. Look at the shot cone, the shadow. Oh. I have never seen that before. No. Whoa. How cool is that? It may have been in the other shots, but this is clearly supersonic. You can tell. Well, the other ones, I wasn't so high above the sticker. True. I was more in line. I've never that. seen that so sharp and well-defined. Wow. That thing disintegrates itself. Cool, and that ring of fire. That's a cool shot right there. <laughs> Not a perfect circle, but that's Pretty damn circular. We're gonna do 762 by 54R, the good old Mosin Nagant. I've heard they're like super powerful, so I'm excited to see that. Well, a good thing about this channel is we can always find out. Always. Alrighty, up next, we're getting into the 762 by 54R out of this Mosin Nagant. All right, on you. Cut. Going hot. See what happens. As a whole, Definitely more dented. Nothing spectacular on the cardboard. This was a, I freshly pushed this up. So that's, that sent a lot in there. Oh, especially from the top. Yep, and we only shot it once. So this is all from a single shot 7.62 oh, by So 54. much in there. Yeah. This was so much more worth it for the rifle rounds to put that block there. Handguns didn't do much. Yeah. Based on how it's almost turning the metal to powder, makes me think this was for sure faster. Yeah. And we're coming across the same thing where each bullet has its own signature pattern. It's like different amounts of, of peeling versus fragmenting versus powder. Flame. Well, we've seen the difference between 760 by 39 and by 54. Yep. And once you get it in the studio and do your thing, it'll probably yeah. be even more. For sure. All right, up next we have this 308 out of this bolt action 308. High speed's ready. This is 308 versus steel plate. That was it. Looks like you hit the sticker. Okay. Definitely a bigger blast. You disintegrated our sticker. Yeah. It feels about the same. It looks the same. This was fresh, so. It doesn't look no. any more special. Quite a bit more fragmentation going on down in here. Oh yeah. As we eat away at this board, more and more gets to 
This Looks like the ceiling of a cave. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Just about the same. Yep. He kind of broke apart at the disc at the end more, but. When it hits the sticker like that, it makes like a perfect circle that uh -huh. comes out of it. You mentioned like a smoke <laughs> ring in the last video. So satisfying. Flattens out. It almost liquefies the sticker when it peels and it's like. Oh, it does, yeah. Solid states of matter don't act like solids very much at this speed. No. 308 was just for the sake of it, so uh, I say we step it up big time. Yeah, so caliber. we are pretty much leaving all of the families. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to the 50 BMG. We need to make a prediction on 50 cal. Um, I think this whole thing's going away. I think it will for sure break the wood, <laughs> but what about impact on the steel? I think it's gonna dent it. I think it's gonna go through. You'd think it will or don't? No, I don't, I don't think it's gonna go through. I think it'll make a big enough crater that it actually has some coming back out at the edges a little bit, like a oh, proper crater. Okay. But I think that's it. All right. Well, load it up. All right, for the grand finale, we have the 50 cal BMG out of this Noreen 50. This is 50 cal versus steel plate. Oh God. Wow. <laughs> it's clear. Well, we stepped up the devastation a little bit. Uh, it went through. We were both wrong. We were definitely wrong. Oh, look at that. Jeez. Beautiful. That. Well, okay. So we were wrong. Yep. We went from barely denting it to completely cracking through it. It, it deformed it in this direction too. <gasps> look at the wood. Oh, this one. I didn't even yeah. see that one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's hilarious. It makes sense why we didn't get a whole lot of fragmentation because most of the bullet went through. It kept on going. I mean, That's and we know it went ridiculous. on through the plate because it's now through the wood and I can see where it hit in the berm, so. It's crazy to see cracks in this kind of material. Yeah. That's a lot of energy in there. We were shooting pretty well the same spot all day, so. It could have slightly compromised the material, maybe? but I doubt it. I doubt it. Because it was like just scratching. This I think it would still punch right through. And there's some pieces in this gel for sure. Yep, because I moved that up. That was a fresh, look at this big chunk here. Oh, oh, that's sticker. It shot sticker into the gel. Do we get supersonic <laughs> sticker? That one went pretty low. That's wide. So the question is how much of it's going to fragment off versus how much is going to go through. That's what we're going to find. Out. A large mass of it had to have gone through because it went through wood as well. It continued on. And then into your berm. And into so. the berm. See what happens. I might be able to calculate the velocity of those sparks because those are for sure several times the speed of sound. That looked like it was getting far enough in there. Some of this oh. is going to be the Whoa. metal leaving as it's shattering through. That could be some of the metal coming back out and it's not the bullet itself. What's important to me right now, though, is this freeze frame looks like a star going supernova. 
Oh man, there's That's so bright. much energy. It's vaporizing a lot of material for sure. So there's sticker being vaporized, metal, and it just has to be flaking off. A lot of fragments hanging around. Now those vibrations are immense. You can see it's fracturing the wood now. Yep. This was a good video. I think that's a good point to wrap it up. Well, we can't do any more shooting because uh, we don't have a stand anymore. So we need to do shotgun rounds at some point though. Oh yeah, we have tons of them. Are you just zooming in on my face? Very slowly. Very slowly. It's okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm glad we got to take something to failure this no time. No kidding. The pistols was really cool, but there's nothing better than high speed destruction. So yeah, I mean, obviously you can tell by looking at the bullets, 50 cal is just so much more energy to compare that to the other bullets that just hit it and slightly dented it. Maybe gave it just a little, little nudge. So from the 22 in the first video, all the way up to the 50 BMG, it's gotta be orders of magnitude oh. more more power it's insane so thanks to all of you for recommending that we do the rifle calibers definitely something that was worth it Absolutely. Um, shotgun rounds that's going to be a fun one to do yep um we also have some frangible ammunition that's going to behave very differently on steel because it's meant to so yep. that could be something we could get into next um, but before we get into those we're going to start testing how manufacturers make these steel plates safer with different coatings and stuff get a ballistic torso involved all the fun stuff back to some more uh, traditional ballistic high-speed content. Yeah. Again, ballistic high-speed merch. If you want a sweatshirt or shirt, anything like that, check it out on our store. We'll also have a link in the description. It takes you directly to the store. If you want to support us, that's a good way to do it. Otherwise, social media, Patreon, all that good stuff. Um, we're going to start putting some extra bonus stuff on Patreon. So it's not just going to be two days early content. Um, once we start doing some more spicy content, we're going to probably have to sneak that over on Patreon. Just keep that in mind. If you want to support us, Patreon's a good way as well. Any last words? I think that's it. Cool. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next episode.